It is Graham here, living the dream in October 2022, here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York City. It is Tuesday morning, and as New York comes alive, we have absolutely nothing booked today. We did most of the touristy stuff that we planned to do yesterday, which of course was Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, and the One World Trade Center. So the bottom line is we have a very big plan today, and that is we're gonna take the Metro from right here in Kingston, uh, which is the C line right up to 59th Street in Midtown Manhattan and we're going to go for a walk in Central Park then potentially down Fifth Avenue if you want to do Tiffany's uh, into the Trump Center and after that guys I've got no clue you'll just have to come with Fiona, Donna, Michael and I as we continue to enjoy our Virgin New Yorkers trip Where are you going today? Popeyes. Popeyes? <laughs> KFC last night. Michael wants to try Popeyes today. Central. Where are you going? Central Park. So that's it, decided guys. The first plan on Tuesday morning was to take the subway all the way up to Columbus Circle and go into Central Park. Won't you take me home and give me wings to fly? We can be alone in the castle. I had to pinch myself every time we made this short walk between the Airbnb and the Kingston Northrop subway station. I couldn't believe how lucky we struck it on this trip getting a subway station so close to the apartment. It was awesome guys. During all of the footage that I take in the making of these videos, I do my very best to protect the privacy of other traveling passengers and public that we come across. And as a result, I do a lot of editing and cutting of the images and video. So I'm sorry that not more of our journeys here on the New York subway make it to YouTube. Anyway, back to today and Tuesday, we'd finally arrived at Columbus Circle, which is situated at the southwest corner of Central Park. So we were now gonna head into the park and look for the ice rink. But first we had to cross this busy road at the corner of Central Park and Columbus Circle. be fun to pop in this photograph of Fiona's first visit to this very spot in Central Park back in November 2003. So just under 19 years ago at the time of making this episode. So I think the near two decades that have passed have not been too bad to us. And it's a shame for Donna and Michael's first visit to this very spot. There was no ice or ice skaters on the ice rink. And after our visit to the empty ice rink, it was time to go and find strawberry fields. Strawberry Fields is a 2.5 acre section of New York's Central Park designed by Bruce Kelly. Of course, in memory of one of New York's most famous residents, of course, the Beatles star John Lennon. And it's situated on Central Park West and 72nd Street, right next to the Dakota building where John Lennon lived and sadly died. I'll come back to that a little bit later, but the construction of Strawberry Fields here in Central Park started in April 1984. 
1984 and was dedicated on the 9th of October 1985 on what would have been John Lennon's 45th birthday. <laughs> In a bid not to break YouTube copyright rules, I'm going to cut that music because buskers are given one hour slots to play at Strawberry Fields each day. And of course, they're playing Beatles or John Lennon's music. And our next destination was, of course, the Dakota Building. And this is the Dakota on 1 West and 72nd Street and took four years to construct between 1880 and 1884. Of course, John Lennon was one of the most famous residents of the Dakota and it's right here where he was tragically murdered on the 8th of December, 1980. During all of my visits to New York over the decades, I'd never visited Strawberry Fields or the Dakota before. The Beatles were never really my thing. But I know the Beatles played a big part in Fiona, Donna and Michael's lives growing up, so it was good to come and see this part of Central Park and, of course, the Dakota. Anyway, it was now time to head back to Central Park and enjoy the rest of our walk in the park. Central Park in Manhattan, New York covers 843 square acres and it's estimated to receive around 42 million visitors a year. And from what information I can glean on the interweb, there are seven man-made lakes and ponds in New York Central Park. We can be alone in the castle in the sky. We can run away and leave this world behind. Again, I would love to have brought the music that these guys were dancing to, but I do fear that I'd be breaking YouTube copyright rules by doing so. So for Fiona, Donna, Michael and I, we continued our walk in Central Park. And after Central Park, we headed south on Fifth Avenue. So after a very quick trip to Tiffany's on Fifth Avenue, guys, I did remove all of Fiona's credit cards from her purse before we entered the store. We were now going in to Trump Tower. And even two years after the last US presidential election, the store selling all sorts of Donald Trump for President memorabilia is still there. And I've got absolutely no idea, guys, why I couldn't persuade Donna, Michael or Fiona to go into the store. Where are you? Trump Tower. Did you see the big man? Nope. He's behind Not you. Flesh, is he? He's behind you. Mm -hmm. 
Donna give him a kiss. <laughs> And before you ask guys, we never did see Big Donald. So we decided to leave Trump Tower and head down Fifth Avenue, heading in the direction of Grand Central Station, which would be our last stop of the day. This is the second time that Fiona and I have visited Grand Central Station in New York and it's the second time guys we found it a complete nightmare to find. Anyway situated on 42nd Street and Park Avenue Grand Central Station which is nearly always just referred to as Grand Central is North America's second largest train station after of course New York's other train station Penn Station. The station opened in 1913 and by 2018 was seeing nearly 23 million visitors a year and guys that's excluding those using the trains or the subway. Of course the vast majority of the near 23 million people coming to visit the station each year were probably just like Fiona, Donna, Michael and I. We were just here to see this wonderful piece of architecture in Midtown Manhattan. And according to Wikipedia, the rest of the visitors at Grand Central Station are typically those meeting people off trains or just it has become a great central place to meet people. And that makes me wonder how many blind dates have started at Grand Central Station here in New York. So that's it for today, guys. This is where I'm going to bring this episode to an end. I hope you've enjoyed Tuesday and our trip to Central Park, Fifth Avenue, and of course, Grand Central Station. And if you want to continue to follow Fiona, Donna, Michael and I as we enjoy our Virgin New Yorkers adventure in October 2022, you know what to do, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to be notified when the next video is published. Thank you so much for watching.